what to all my OG subscribers welcome back to all my new subscribers welcome so I'm starting off this video looking a little bit different today no hair I've got on my weave cap for a reason because we're here with a wig review slash try on and styling video so I purchased this wig while I was in Orlando. It's the main concept brown sugar versatile lace wig. And this is in the style um, BSX01 straight 28 inch. And the style and the colour is SR1B slash 613. So it's this first style wig. You're supposed to be able to create all of these styles. I'll just show you here. You can do cornrows, you can do um, like some china bumps sort of style, you can have it down, you can do all different stuff so it really appealed to me as soon as I saw it. This wig online has mixed reviews um, but first impressions of it I'm quite happy with what it looks like and how it's constructed because um, it seems like for me I love to kind of like make, make my wigs my own um, so for me this is like exciting so it comes in this pack I've just taken off the plastic sleeve um, and then you've got the wig inside which is protected as normal so it's all protected with this netting and then once to take off the netting we've got all the inside the protection inside as well here I'm going to take that all out So as you can see inside, you've got your parting areas, so you can, it goes down in four sections as you can see, parting sections which is really cool. And then you've got four combs, so you've got two at the back, two in the front here and then the adjustable straps at the side here that you can actually adjust to make it tighter. Um, the lace is here, so you've got lace at the back and lace at the front. And it's a really nice soft lace it's not uh, kind of like a plasticky lace it's really nice and soft and i also love the color of the lace my only gripe is that probably the parting for me i like i don't like my parting to be too wide this is might be a bit wide for me but we'll soon see i'm going to pop it on my head so you can kind of see how it looks with the lace before we go ahead and cut it off So I put on wigs really different to people. I know people start from the back and go to the front, but I kind of do my own way. Okay, so this is the wig with the lace on. And as you can see, it fits rather well. I don't think I would adjust it as at the moment, but it's really light blonde, which I love. And we've got the dark roots, which is really, makes it more flattering so far it's just in this straight kind of style it's like straight with a bump at the end which is kind of standard for most wigs that I get um, I did try and get a curly one in this version but they sold out unfortunately so I'm gonna make use of this one and see how we get on so yeah let's get into this video okay so Let's start off with we're going to cut off this lace there's not many there's no bit baby hairs from what i can see so um, i'm not going to be extremely precise of it because i want it to look as natural as possible so i'm just going to go in with a pair of scissors and go around and cut off this lace i'll just show you guys if i can so i like to start off from the air yeah i just like to go as close to yeah as close to the band as possible and then once it gets to the hair I go just to be slightly out you just want to take your time just cutting round so I'm gonna do this and I'll be back so all the lace is off now and we're just left with the wig as you can see you can see I wasn't extremely precise with how I cut it and um, the more jagged it is the better off for me and um, so I'm just going to go and pop it on my head again so that we can see how things look 
Ooh, let's get rid of this cardboard first. <laughs> Bash me in the face. Mm. Get rid of the cardboard. Let's pop it on my head and see the fit. Just want to check the fit of it. Make sure it fits comfortably on the head. I'm going to put the combs in the back in. That feels quite comfortable. I'm not going to put it any tighter for now. On the hair forward. Yep, that looks good. I'm right, just going to take a pad paddle brush now and just brush it out so we can see how I think the lay is properly. It's a bit tangled at the bottom. I'm just going to try and show you guys all the length. It's so long. It's longer than I usually have my wigs. I kind of go to about just boob length or just under the boob, but this surpass, surpasses that majorly. There's actually a longer one than this as well, 40 inch, and I was just like, uh, no, I cannot see myself wearing that as nice as it looks. No, it's not going to be me. So I've got a fair amount of brush um, shedding after brushing that out, which is kind of normal. So it's got in our first stage now. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna style it down first. Um so just normally how I would wear it, and um, just put some curls in and style it down. So Let's go ahead and start this process. So this is the first way that I would wear it. I would wear it like this, to be honest. So what I would just, just do, which I'll do now on camera with you guys, is just simply just flatten that part out. I'll just grab my hair straighteners. So hair straighteners, which is just a standard Remington hair straighteners, nothing fancy. I've got it on the lowest setting. And what I would do, just take it there and just take it just to there. And that will just help to straighten any, kind of keep it, get it a bit more flatter on top. Try and get as small sections as possible. You can also do this with a hot comb, and I do have one, but my one heats up too hot. So sometimes it actually singes the hair, so I don't actually use it on my synthetic wigs because it just burns the hair basically so just use that and as you can see it's just kind of laid a bit more flatter than it was to begin with so this is the first way that you can wear it which is ultra cute probably wear it like this like if I was going to like a dinner with the girls nice and then how I'd wear it like if I was wearing it every day I'd actually put curls in it and I don't like tight curls I just kind of like a loose curl so what I do I grab a smallish section of my hair straightener start from there kind of take it back there start my curl and then I just twist it and you want to just twist and follow the pattern of the hair all the way downwards. And that's how you get a nice wave. I don't like to go too heavy with the bottom of it because I like the bottom to just have its own kind of straightness. I hate curls that kind of are perfect. As you can see, I just kind of do like a loose curl. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all around the head and I'll come back and do show you the second way that you can wear this wig.
Okay, so we're all curled now. I'm just gonna go through this brush and just brush them through. It's a really easy wig to curl. Um, if you want a tighter curl, what I would say with a synthetic wig like this is to curl it and then hold it in your hands for a couple of seconds so that the curl kind of cools off and then release it and then you're good to go but for me I prefer just a loose curl which this is and this is our second way that you can wear it which is really nice I think going forward, I'll probably leave it like this for now, but I know me, I'm probably gonna get cut into it because I like a lot more layers. So, this is the second way. All right, we're gonna get ready to do the third way, which is gonna try and use the parting space and take it upwards. And um, so we're gonna do half up, half down. I can feel the parting space, I think. Yeah, I can feel it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and separate it. <clears throat> if you want a precise part, then I would probably advise you to take it off and get a precise part. Myself, I'm quite happy with it not being precise. I'm not that, I'm not a precise kind of girl. <laughs> If you see how I do my makeup then you'll know I'm not precise and also I would just advise you to probably use some got to be glue and just kind of gel that all down if you want it that way but for me it works out fine right I'm just gonna go through this section and just came out there are some straggly bits um, which you'll see because I think they tried to thin it out because it's quite thick the density of this wig. Alright, I've just taken it off back off so that you can see because I'm going to go ahead and do a half up, half down. So this is how much that you can have down. And if you want a precise part then you can do so but I'm not really that fast. So I'm going to just pop it back on my head, some hair to kind of frame around my face which I think just suits me a bit better. I'm just going to get random pieces, as you can see. This is the third way that I would sign this wig. Um, you don't have to necessarily have these bits in the front, I just think that I look better with a bit of hair in my face. So I'm just going to go ahead get my current straightness and just curl these bits again. It's a nice kind of cute style that you can do um, with it, which I think is really nice, really cute. So overall it's a really cool wig, the fact that you can do so much with it, um, I think it's really good value for money. Just to let you know this wig was $32 from Sam's Beauty. Um, I got it in the Black Friday sale, so I did get a bit of a discount. Um, I think it's now gone back up to about maybe $38. Um, but I think, considering how much you can do with it, it's definitely worth it. Um, my only gripes about it is kind of very um, fluffy. Um, so I'll probably end up 
cutting into this one and kind of trying to thin it out and put some more layers in because um, generally I like my wigs to be a bit more messy and with this one I think you can only get like a straight style which is like straight like this or like fluffy style like this like this and it's not really me to be honest I like more of a kind of like messy kind of with a lot of layers in so I'll probably end up doing that but I'll tell you if I do and if I do then I'll try and check with you online but that's it that's the end of this wig review so it's the um main concept versatile lace wig i'll definitely say it's definitely value for money uh, it does take a lot of work so if you're not really that much into hair then i would advise you not to get this wig but if you're into hair and into styling and stuff like that then um definitely pick this one up because you can do so much with it so that's the end of another video guys i hope you have a blessed day and i'll see you in the next one